Hello everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a low riding caddis. This one started out as parachute caddis, but I've changed it up a little bit. And now it has become this nice profile fly, wing, hackle, but really flat underside, so it rides really low in the water. So to start this off, I've already put a hook in the vise. This one is from Partridge. It's the Patriot uh, Ideal Dry. This one is size 14. Has a little bit longer shank. Classic bend. Works really well for all kinds of nymphs and dry flies. The other materials we're gonna need is for the body, some CC feathers. These ones are in the color old yellow, but any kind of light brown would work well. Then for the wing I'm gonna use some deer hair. This one is just some natural raw deer hair. Up front I'm gonna build the thorax with some Dave Whitlock SLF dubbing. This one is in the color Golden Stone Nymph. It's this really nice light green brown. And for the hackle I'm gonna go with some brown dry fly hackle. And this one I've already sized out to work with a size 14. And last but not least, for the thorax cover and also this little, not like wing, or it's like a tag here at the top. I'm gonna use some poly yarn. This one in the color cream, it's just this little more natural than the straight white. And for the thread, I'm gonna use. The Nano Silk from Samplefly, this one is in beige, 80 note. I'm gonna start this right behind the eye. And going down a couple of turns. And then I'm gonna go back up again. Park my thread just a millimeter behind the eye. Cut away the tag. And here I'm gonna take my poly yarn. I'm gonna cut off a bunch and this one comes corded up on a card, so I'm just gonna cut away one length. And this one I'm then gonna separate in two. And this will then be enough for our thorax cover tag wing kind of thing. And here to get this in, you can just pass this under your thread. Get it there, keeping it tight, holding it with your other hand. Then a few turns to secure before cutting away the rest. Then I'm gonna take the hackle. We're gonna tie this in here in front as well. Just strip away a few of the fibers from the side. And this one, when we wind it up then, or wind it back, we're going to do, we want the fibers to go towards the front. These feathers have a shiny and a dull side. So what we want is to have the dull, dull side facing us when we tie it in. And here, keeping this here right in front, I'm gonna tie this in, touching turns, going back, tying down both this little piece of hackle and the poly yarn. We're just gonna leave this sticking out the front and then going back and I'm gonna take the thread down to where the barb normally is then I'm gonna select one CDC feather I'm just gonna tie this in two loose turns or three and then pull the feather it's going to capture all these little points when you have these extending the length of the body, you can stop and then with touching turns, go up the whole length of the body. Take your time. And here you can really build up a nice neat body from the back to the front. And then with the feather, we're gonna spin it do a turn, 
is going to build up a nice tapered and also segmented body. And for each turn we make, we're going to spin it just a little bit more. And working our way up. And you don't have to worry about the fibers sticking out to the side. These we're going to cut afterwards. Then we're going to come up to the thread. Put the 90 degree bend into the feather and tie it off. A few turns in front. Cut off the excess. And then a few, a few turns just to tidy up. Then we can come in with our scissors and cut away all these stray fibers. You can also leave a few if you would like to. I like this really nice clean look. So I'm gonna cut them away. There we go. A few more turns just to make sure this is all secure. And then going back and park our thread just in front of the body. It's time for the wing. And here I've selected some deer hair. These ones are really short and fine. I'm gonna take just a few. We don't want to overdo this. And here if you talk in pencil width, it's like maybe a third. You don't want to overdo this. Take away all the fluff from the bottom and also the shortest fibers. Hair stacker. Points first and then a few taps. Till all the fibers are aligned. Take them out with your left hand, having them already pointing towards the back is much easier. And then we're going to measure out the length of this, we want it to be a little bit longer than the body, extending out past the bend of the hook as well. And then holding these, I'm going to do a few quite loose turns before putting a little bit more pressure on this making all these flare out, but keeping them with my left hand so they don't rotate around. Then I'm gonna grab all the cut ends, just pull these back, and then a few turns in front to make sure these aren't going anywhere. And then holding all these cut ends straight up, I'm going to cut these away as close as possible. And here with the scissors you can tidy up just a little bit. But you don't have to be too fussy about this. We're going to cover all this with dubbing in the next step. And you can also crease this wing just a little bit to make it lay flat back. And there we have this nice tent shape like the caddis natural wings. And then I'm going to go up right to the front. Make sure that you tie these two materials down right to the eye. There we go. Now time for dubbing. And this is usually used for nymphs, but it has this really nice color to it. So I'm gonna use it for thorax in this one. And here you don't need much. You just want to barely cover the thread and also build up just a little bit of spikiness right here in front. So going from the front to the back, I'm going to build up my thorax. There we go. Park our thread 
at the base of the wing. And to get it started right can be a little bit tricky. But you want the fibers to be leaning towards the front. So going back just a few turns and then when we come back to the thread just a couple of turns to tie this off and then we can cut away the excess now we want to go back with our polyon right over splitting the hackle in two and there if you can see it I also want this to flatten out just a little bit and then a couple of turns to secure this as well before doing a three turn whip finish two three pull tight cut away and now we're also gonna cut the poly on so hold this tight and cut it to about half the length of the wing now it's just time to tidy up a little bit and what I'm gonna do is to cut the underside of the hackle flat so now we only have hackle spling out to the sides but there we have it this little profile caddis or low riding caddis thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time